Hi Capricorn, this is your monthly reading for the month of May 2020. Right, we will draw four cards like we usually do <clears throat> for our monthlies. And I'm gonna start just now. Okay. King of Wands. Oh, two of them, okay. I'm going to take them together for the second week of a um, month. Two of Swords with a Two of Wands. And then Ace of Swords. And then the Fool. Okay, your influencing energy is Five of Cups. Looking back, you know, looking back into your life um, and into the things that made you unhappy. You know, sometimes we, we always have something in our past that it was said or made us unhappy or um, it was depressive or things like that. And you're looking back, that's what Five of Cups says, looking for things like that. And you, your past, and you were unhappy, and, um, sorry, I have to <clears throat> get another card from here. Anyway, you're looking back into something that made you unhappy. Somewhere in your life, it was the sad situation. Sad moments. That's what was on your mind. That's your influencing energy in here. Um, let me pair the cards now. King of Wands is paired with Knight of Pentacles. Now these two, twos, <laughs> what did we have said? Uh, two of Swords and Two of Wands. Together, eh? <laughs> You're going to pair with King of Pentacles. That's your energy, right? Ace of Swords. Now is paired with the World card. The Fool, paired with Seven of Wands. And your influencing energy is Ten of Cups. All right. Something you completed, all right. It is maybe family related, but it is a completion. I don't know if something within the family or uh, some very close environment, when you turn back, you see somewhere there something sad that happened. It is Ten of Cups, it's always happy. It is always happy, culmination, completion um, for the family, promises, good new beginning, um, new prosperous, new start for something prosperous, lovely. And at that point, perhaps you're turning back and you're thinking, oh, but I did have tough time. You know, I got here now and everything and family is happy, but I did have tough time. That kind of energy that you have in here is your influencing energy for you this week. Now we do have King of Wands and Knight of Pentacles, your energy. We do have Knight of Pentacles and King of Pentacles, both of this, your energy, you within your power. I love Knight of Pentacles, to be honest with you, it shows solidity, it doesn't matter, slow process. This is learning on the way, guarantees that you will achieve results. That what your state of mind, that where you are at this point first week. You know exactly, you've got clear vision in front of you, you're not rushing, it is, it's going to take time, it's going to take hard work, whatever. You will get there. That's what you see in front of yourself. No rush. Now, your environment, we have King of Wands. Now, that is a different story now. Now, King of Wands, that's your environment. It could be that you're dealing with somebody who's Aries, Sagittarius of Leo, or it's just an energy like that. This is a bit rushy. You know, now, job is at hand. It has to, it has to be done. Um, if, don't delay do it now. <laughs> that is King of Wands. No delays. You yourself, you are in completely different. We've got this clash of different energies this first week of May. 
from your environment we've got this fiery, rushy, uh, quick energy, action oriented, move, do it, but not, you, you don't want to, you don't want to do that. You don't want to rush. You want to see everything clearly. You want to know exactly what is it every step of the way. You know you will get there, but no rush. A bit, um, it could be a bit edgy with King of Wands. It could be a, a bit edgy situation because these two could clash, right? You might have clash with your environment just for the method, for the uh, timings, uh, how to proceed, which way your environment, this is your environment, is it business or your family or whatever, expects you to react quickly, to move forward, but you are not ready, not yet for things like that. Two of Wands, Two of Swords. Decision to make. Two of Swords, Two of Wands. How can I put it so you can see them both? Okay. No ways. <laughs> okay, like this. Eh? Okay, let me check the camera. Um, uh, yep. um, two of Swords, it is this stalemate. We have this uh, um, barren rock up there, looks cold, locked away somewhere. Two of Swords being indecisive, sitting in a stalemate position where you you even don't want to make a decision. You, you don't want even to see that you're supposed to make decision. You know, when you feel within yourself that it's supposed to be done, it's supposed to, you're supposed to move forward perhaps with something because there is two of ones in here, two together this week. You do have this something that you have started, obviously. We have this King of Wands, something new is happening after this completion. You've got things, new situation is going on in here. Somebody is rushing you. You feel like you're supposed to rush with decision. You're supposed to rush with it. There is. But you yourself, you don't want to do that. You kind of feel that you have to collect more facts. facts. You have to know more. But then somehow in your environment there is decision is, is crying to be made. You have to, it pushes to. This is to indecisiveness two and two. So much indecisiveness in a two different ways. In a way I don't even want to see, but then, you know, it says, yes, you have to. Two of ones, it's ideas, it's calling, calling for for something new, that new things are calling for you. Um, you know, this is all wide world in front of you. Something new is happening. You started it. You see it, that it is opportunity there. But you've got something there with, with, with you. You still have something with you. I, I, I think I'm complicating now. I don't know how I'm going to explain this. You've got the, the moment that you are right now. It's quite good. And that you are hesitant to move, to rush to move forward. Into doesn't matter how prosperous, doesn't matter how good it seems. It seems it's a two of wands, it's promises, it's wide world in front of it. This is like a gate opening, wide world, many opportunities in front of you. With that, what you, you've got in mind, you started, and your environment, only that says, yeah, move forward, do it, do it. But you don't want for some reason. You somehow this is uh, pretend not, not even to see it. Like it's good where I am. Why would I rush? Why would I go for something that I know if it's really gonna be good? It's promises. Yeah, it's a wide world. It's beautiful, but it's good here as well. That sort of dilemma. That sort of dilemma for you. King of Pentacles, you know, you're growing into, from Knight of Pentacles into this King of Pentacles. You will be authority in here. You will make decision, definitely, because Two of Wands, this is uh, from Two of Swords, the progressing, you know, this one was on top, progressing into Two of Wands, which is uh, um, from, I don't want to see it, I don't want to talk about this, into I'm seeing now what the progress is, what opportunity is. And the King of Pentacles, it says, knows exactly. 
if I work hard, I will make my money, I will make whatever I want to. King of Pentacles is not a joke, it's your energy, it's very stable, you will be on top of the situation. You will be on top of the situation. You will understand exactly what opportunities lies for you. Maybe you will weigh a lot and chat a lot and talk and argument with people. That could be some arguments, let me tell you. this. That king of wands is not a joke. That's very forceful energy for moving forward, for action, for... You see what I'm saying? And this with these two of swords, they will be... There could be clash of energy from your environment and, and you yourself... I don't know if it's going to be people in your business, people in your family, but it is a clash of ideas, clash of of uh, clash of energy. Somebody going to push it and and you know uh, wanting you to to make decision because you are here decision maker, King of Pentacles. You will make decisions. You'll take authority. You'll take things into your hands. Everything, and you will be making decision with full authority. There's undoubtedly. Not in the first week, no matter how much somebody pushes you or forcing you. No, you will take your time. And, and it seems you are right. King of Pentacles is there. It's your energy. You will understand everything. But it seems two of wands is where you're going. Doors is opening for you. You will understand what is prospect there for you. That sort of thing. So with full authority, you will know, undoubtedly. What is real prospect day for you? Very nice. Very suitable for the kind of very Capricornian, isn't it? Anyway, Ace of Swords with the world. Completion. It seems you are completing it. Before you move forward, you have to complete something. And completion and starting into something new. You will move forward, definitely. I see decision you made in this second, uh, second week. You will move forward. But before you really do that, you will have to complete the things. It's a completion. Ace of Swords, it's new ideas. It's it's definitely moving forward. This Ace of Swords definitely will move you somewhere. Brand new ideas. Intelligent, clever, well worked out. This is well worked out. It is potential, but it's worked out. You know, no surprises there. The world says something that you've been doing before may be related to this Ten of Pentacles. Perhaps you completed something earlier. And your idea to move forward with something, but that you know what it is, that you've been done earlier already, you're completing one thing and building on it now. Like it was something that you've already done or... or, or it's definitely something that is familiar to you. It's not new things. You want to build on something that is already there. Just to carry on building on this, that what you were doing till now, that you, that you are busy with, that you know what it is. But it is very fresh, very, very fresh, anticipating... Um, improvement because this is something opening in a in a in a big way yes you were doing this it's the same things that you that you've been doing till now you know exactly what it is you're completing it but then it's opening is big you know it's it's doing the same things in a different way um, more prosperous more abundant more bigger, more, more um, maybe related to the foreign place, foreign country, or doing it in a foreign way, way that you haven't done it before, changing the method, things like that. Ace of Swords is there. But anyway, everything is good. Moving forward, this, this month is kind of, yeah, you are moving forward with something new, with new ideas, but you are very cautious in here. You think twice and three times about everything. Now, we do have four and seven of, seven of wands. It seems to me, again, this energy of king of wands down there and the full this side, end of the month, you do have in your environment um, something that pushes you. Something is pushy. Let's move, let's go. Let's move, let's go. 
yes, these are ideas, yes, that's opportunities. You know, it is in your environment a plenty of things that suddenly comes at your opportunity and it comes from other people, perhaps, um, maybe from other businesses, I don't know, from the family members. But you are the one who holds it, uh, for, uh, um, holds it back. You're looking for certainty. You are not rushing. You kind of have to have solid ground before you make any sort of step further. It has to be solid ground. You are not that. I mean, you see your environment. No, they 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 are like a fools. They they don't see. Um, they're just optimistic. They see everything is you know money is <laughs> growing on the trees, <laughs> you know <laughs> things like that. And you're defending your you're defending yourself. You have to explain and defend to people. Don't rush. Don't go. I really see conflicting energies again, again. We see conflicting energy. No rush. You know, somebody pushes you all the time. The whole this month, that is the team. Somebody, your environment is pushing you to rush with something new. Yes, you're doing it. You are with full confidence. You are moving forward. You are making decisions. But then again, once you make decisions and everything looks good, everything looks good. Somebody, something from your environment wants it even, you know... Uh, is it this brilliant idea that coming, you know, maybe just this idea, this situation that comes your way, that is so brilliant, that is so good, that everybody sees that you're supposed to rush into it, grab it with two hands, but you, you, not you, not you, 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 you want to take your time, you want to think things over, you want to work this through, you're going to see everything A, B, C, D, everything to the Z, you must know it, kind of. I, I see the conflict of energies again by the end of the month about the same thing. Like everybody sees that you, you, there's no point to wait. Let's move on. No point to wait anymore. Let's move on. But you kind of not ready yet. Something like that this May for you. Anyway, I hope that you're going to enjoy it.